Ooh, what they do, what they do, back with another video, baby. Shout out to uh Tippendale. <laughs> Anyways, Pete. Y'all need some lighting? Y'all need y'all say y'all need some lighting? There we go. Get some of that lighting up in here. Anyways, we are back. Listen, your boy been busy. So I haven't really been able to get out the videos like I've been wanting to. Um, whew, work has been kind of busy. And since I'm not working from home, you know, so. Anyways, we're going to get right into this. This is Will Her Boyfriend Sleep With Another Girl. Um, What the heck? How does this happen? Hold on. Let's see. Okay. That might be better. That better? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the heck. Anyway, I don't oh. Your boy Eden. Whew. Anyways, peeps. We're gonna go get right into this. Um I just wanted to watch this. Uh this is UDY loyalty test. I don't know why. Here's the thing, peeps. I don't know. Um actually I don't know what's going on. Um, hold on, peeps. The boy sometimes. Uh, okay, that's probably why. Okay, that's probably why. Okay, I think I fixed. I think we fixed it. I think we fixed it. But anyways, I don't know why. Um, this is even a thing. Do I have? I got. I think I got my filters on. No, no filters on. Okay, but I don't know if someone wants to test me. I say good luck because one, I'm already going to know it's a trap. <laughs> so good luck with that. And because I know it's going to be a trap, I'm going to play right into it. And that way we can just go ahead and break it off and I can go find someone that's going to focus on, you know what I'm saying, building with me. So. Anyways, um, yeah, let's uh, get right into this, peeps. Let's get right into it. Is Nalaya's boyfriend loyal or not? We'll just call him Z. We set up an elaborate plan to get Z to this home to find out if he would be willing to cheat on his girlfriend with our decoy Tessa. Damn. It's my room. Go ahead. You gonna leave me out here? I wanna prove it to you. Are you gonna join me? Before finding out whether or not Z passes this test, you guys gotta see how we got here. Hey, I'm gonna get some commentary about the the woman and then the decoy. Two days ago, we had Nalia convince Z to pick up an iPad that she supposedly bought off Tessa. Hello? Hey, is this? Yeah, who's this? This is Tessa, Nalia's friend, the one she bought the iPad from. She's a cute girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What the hell? Hell, I'll date her. You come come to my house. I mean, you you look good. Just wanted to make sure you were still coming by later. As far as the decoy, hell, both of them look good. Uh, okay. For today to pick the iPad up. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay, sounds good. Tessa texted Z to meet her at this nearby park. We made our way there 30 minutes before their scheduled pickup time. Alrighty, guys, we are in position and we are now just waiting for Z to arrive in about the next 10 to 15 minutes, I want to say. Z ended up taking a lot longer than we thought, but eventually he finally arrived. Hello? Oh, she's jumping on the phone here. Oh, really? Uh, I don't see you. Okay, she's looking around. Oh, I see you. You're on the other side. Yeah, I'm here, waving my hand. Oh, oh there he goes. Is that him? Yeah, that, him? yeah, that's him. Oh, man, he is here. With Z now here, this test was officially in full swing. If he looks this way, just duck, duck. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to hide. Windows are tinted, but just in case. Hi. <laughs> Nice to meet you, I'm Tessa. And just like that, we've gotten Tessa and Z to meet. Now, what you guys don't know is that Tessa has also asked Z to do her a favor. By the way, didn't Aliyah tell you about the other thing as well? The, um, like giving you a ride to sell cars or something? Yeah, is that still okay? Yeah, 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 I, I don't mind. How far is it from you? Like 10 minutes. I'll give you gas money and everything. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm with you. You see, Tessa is posing as a flipper. We wanted Z to give her a ride to flip some trading cards so that she could plant her jacket in his car. Nalaya paid you, right? She, she did. All the money. Yeah. Okay. Are you still cool with uh, taking yeah. me? To anyways, 
This is surgery roll. He has some of the most sophisticated, elaborate. I mean, listen, his this man, I wouldn't be surprised if he worked for like Microsoft or Apple or Amazon or Facebook. Like he is his planning is just like like it's it, I can't even say it's over the top planning. This is like it's almost like he plans stuff, but when you really think about it and really analyze it, it could actually like really happen naturally. Like there's a lot of like the man got some sophisticated planning. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I can go right now. I can't even Sounds explain amazing. it. I can give you the address. Okay, he's taking her. He is taking her. All right, okay. we are in business. We are in phase two. Yeah, phase can I put two. my stuff in your back seat? Oh. So with that, Tessa removes her backpack and her jacket and places it in Z's back seat, exactly like we wanted her to do. Okay, I'm crying just thinking about this. Oh, are you, you're crying? No, don't cry. <laughs> they might drive past us, so just, uh, I'm gonna put the camera stay down. Low. Just kind of duck, yeah, stay low. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, hey, they are headed your way. They should be there in about 10 to 15 minutes. He only calls whenever he needs something. Why does he just call to be like, hey, how are you doing? Everything is good. This is pretty much phase one. We are now in phase number. Listen, that man is not worried about how, you, what the heck? And then you got the, these type of things. <laughs> now, I just want to say something too while we're reviewing this video. Um, now, I've done some research on him and then um, and stuff, and other YouTubers have actually done research on him. Apparently, because we thought this was staged, this actually felt staged, some of this stuff, but it's not staged. Apparently, this is all real. Everything is set up. It's not staged, which is even crazy. But I will say that his earlier episodes, like back three, four, five years ago, they looked staged because at that time, wasn't nobody really doing stuff like this? Not to the extreme. It was just his planning was just so sophisticated. It just looked like it was staged. But yeah, it's not staged, peeps. Believe that or not. Number two. What's up, you guys? My name is Ken. Today, I'm going to be purchasing some Pokemon cards, or as some like to call it, cardboard gold. I need to find a side hustle now because Sergio isn't willing to give me a raise. Also, peeps. So, you know, Pokemon cards, they are gold. Like, right now, that's the hottest thing. Matter of fact, there are thieves right now that are breaking into GameStops and stuff like that because GameStop sells Pokemon cards, even though it has nothing to do with gaming. But they sell these cards behind glass because they're so popular. that, And then some of them are really worth a lot of money, so... I wonder if Ken knows that I make more than him. Usually I ask a friend to come with me, but like I said, they're all busy. Yeah, of course. So are you like trying to get rid of the stuff you don't need anymore or what? No, this is what I actually do. What do you mean? Uh, reselling things. I go to thrift stores, garage sales, eBay. Oh. What? What? I don't people that, that do that. that. They yeah, actually don't. Lie, though. Ken's looking pretty buff. Sales, hey, yard damn. sales. Flea markets. I don't have any trust they, for him they right flip now. Stuff. I've caught him in girls DMs multiple times. He's very friendly, even around like people I- Okay, first off, I, I have to say this. Very feminine as far as her voice. I don't know how her attitude is, but just thinking about it and looking at her, she sent her my way, shoot peeps. Listen, I wanna say something to guys. I want y'all to listen real closely. Stop! talking to other if you got a girlfriend stop talking to other women don't be on instagram don't be on facebook Just, first off delete all your social media stuff i don't care if you're uh doing videos just delete it all you're doing stop okay you gotta remember stop putting yourselves in situ stop do okay first off i can't even I'm, listen Stop putting yourselves in these situations that can ruin your relationship. You won't have no issues. It's that damn simple. What the fuck you need Instagram and all this other stuff for if you're not, not even single? I can see if you're single, yeah, go ahead and have all that shit. But you got a woman? You don't need no damn social media. The only social media you need is Facebook. And the only people that should be on your Facebook is your family members and your actual true friends that you actually meet in real life. But don't be having girls on your face. Stop, stop with the bullshittery, peeps. 
it's fine. Okay, if you got a, if you if you had a girl on your page, y'all went to school together, y'all was friends, and da da da, and she's married. Cool. Okay, good. But y'all gotta stop putting yourselves in these like situations that you know that could go wrong, such as this. She says she's caught him. Why does he even have Instagram for? What purpose? Is he a content creator? But like I said, her, she's cute. I trust. Every time I try to talk to him about something, he's always blowing me off like, you're crazy. Okay, here she comes. Excuse me, are you Ken? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up? Oh, hi, I'm hey, Tessa. From Offer Up? Yeah, I have the trading cards. I've never caught him with a girl, even though he's like texted girls. I've never caught him with somebody. Mm -hmm. But when I bring it up, he says he's totally clean. I mean, what if these girls are really like just his friends? I don't think they are. The way he'll text them. See, peeps, stop. Do not have girls as friends if you have a girlfriend. I don't know why, why is that so damn hard? You got a girlfriend, stop, get rid of all the girls that you have in your phone, your social, first of all, delete your social media pages. Keep up Facebook and delete everybody that's not your family members. Cause you, no, stop, y'all gotta stop doing these things. Stop it. God dang. Um, the way he acts when he gets around them, it's just, it's not friend-like. Oh my gosh, you have stealing the plans? Where did you get stealing the plans? Ken doesn't strike me as a trading card type of guy. This looks fake, I don't know about this. Oh no! Hold up, hold up. Okay, no, no, I see it, I see it. I just wasn't sure. So on a scale of 1 to 10, like, how confident are you that he's gonna pass this test? That he's gonna pass the test. I would... I would say like a four. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? I feel like he just goes for anybody at this point. Have you ever considered just like breaking up with him? I'm gonna be honest with you. If I did not see her face, I would not know that she's a black lady. She sounds like a white girl. You could tell she's like in her 20s. No offense, but she does sound like a white girl. <laughs> it's not, listen, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I just wanted to point that out because I was thinking, I'm like, damn, she does not sound like a typical black girl. I have, but I don't know. Yeah. I can't do it. She gotta be at least 18. They're Pokemon cards? Um, no, um, they're different trading cards. Bro, what the hell kind of cards are these, man? Because these ain't no damn Pokemon cards, bro. They're like off-branded Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You can just text it me, headed your way. Okay, perfect. Okay. They are headed our way, so they should be here. Eventually, Z and Tessa made their way back to the park. Oh my god, he's literally parking team spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Thank you so much for everything. Yeah, no problem, I got Here's you. Here's $20 for gas. Uh, <laughs> trust me, I don't need it, thank you. No, please, take it. In case you guys forgot, the whole point of all this was to get Tessa to plant her jacket in Z's car. You see, we needed a way to get Z to come to Tessa's supposed home. And what better way than by getting him to return the jacket that Tessa forgot in his car. Did she leave her jacket? Did she yeah, leave yeah. You see what I'm saying? This man, I didn't even think about that shit. <laughs> This man, this man is crazy. She didn't perfect, have it. perfect. We're good. Woo, we're set. We're good. And I'm just gonna say something off rip that I noticed between the two. The decoy, and this is what I've been telling y'all in these other videos. The decoy, she's dressed super feminine, feminine clothing. The girlfriend, not so much. I mean, she. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell you women something. If you got a boyfriend and you want to keep him around, if you're worried about him cheating, just be feminine and dress super feminine and you ain't got to worry about him running away. Now, don't don't be dressed like no stripper or nothing like that, but dress modest. Now, in the now around the house, especially if y'all ain't got no kids, go ahead and hit that lingerie up. And I'm going to say this. Don't date a guy that doesn't like lingerie and all that other... and, and no and, and, you know, revealing stuff around, like, if it's just you and him. If they, if he doesn't like that, you need to go get away from him. I'm just saying, get away from him. And just like that, we had a reason to get Z back for phase number three. Yeah, she looked nice. You forgot your what? You forgot your jacket. Oh. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> God, he told her to get your jacket out of my car. Thanks. At first glance, it appears that her plan is ruined, but the reason I'm laughing is because it's not. With Tessa's jacket being so poofy, I figured that there was a high chance that Z might notice it. So we ended up planting some AirPods that Tessa would drop as a backup plan. Did tell me you dropped, you dropped the AirPods, right? I what did I just tell? This man, uh, here, listen, we in 2023. This man's in already in 3023. I... This is this is why I said this shit looked like it was staged. Cause I'm like, who the fuck would even think that? I mean, granted, I I can see him doing that now because he's had his he's been doing this for like what six, seven, eight years, so he's learned from stuff. But it's like, even still, you're you like seven. He play he ain't even playing chess. He playing some game that ain't even made up, peeps. Crazy. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I told you. See, something literally told me. What did you know? Look at how she is dressed versus the girlfriend. Now, I, you know, I don't know, but I'm just saying she looks super. She looks nice. This is your jacket. The only downside of having dropped the AirPods is that Z's gonna get a notification on his iPhone telling him that someone else's AirPods are traveling with him. I mean, honestly, I think we'll be fine as long as we could pull off phase three in like the next day, next two days. I agree. He'll just basically know that he has your AirPods, that's it. So he might text you or call you up and say, hey, you left your AirPods in my car. If he does do that, then just tell him, hey, can you think you drop it off tomorrow or the next day or whatever? Mm -hmm. And we'll go from there. I forgot that Apple does that crap. This is it. This is it. How are you feeling? I'm nervous, but I'm ready. Okay. These headphones. What is up with her and her outfit? This is it. This She's is wearing, it. Like, How are you feeling? Jean, Jean, I'm nervous, jeans. but I'm ready. Okay. She's wearing jeans and just jeans and jeans. I'm telling y'all, stop. Women, y'all gotta stop with the dream, jeans shit. I mean, at some point, I mean... I don't even have jeans. <laughs> Let's just, just put it like this. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with jeans. But at some point, you got to start looking at how can I attract who I want to be with. And I'm just going to tell you, jeans is just not going to be it. Just, just saying. These headphones are for use. Y'all got to have it in a mindset that men are very visual creatures. So the reason why y'all complain so much about men cheating is because they visually see people see women so obviously you look at the decor and you look at her i can already tell you as a guy i'm looking at the decor like mm, damn, we look good because it just it's just her and it's a it's a subconscious thing with men when you come in a room dressing like in jeans and a shirt that just so that you could listen in to like what's being said. Okay. We were now in phase three of our plan. Tessa had a text to Z inquiring about the AirPods and after some strategic and cunning messages on her end, Z had agreed to drop them off at her supposed house. So how was yesterday when he uh, gave you the iPad? It was good, he just handed it to me, but he didn't even bring up the AirPods. Oh, he didn't bring up the AirPods at all? No. Really? Yeah. You think that means something? I'm hoping it doesn't. Yeah, he might have just thought it was irrelevant to bring up, you know? Yeah. Or maybe he <laughs> genuinely forgot about them. And... That's what I'm thinking. After waiting for some time, Z finally texted Tessa what? that he had arrived. Oh. oh, here we go. Hey, park in the driveway. Yeah, come on. Now remember guys, Z only came to drop off Tessa's AirPods, so convincing him to park in the driveway was one step closer to convincing him to come inside. We don't have, unfortunately, Dang. a live feed of the driveway, but you can still hear, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Uh, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Look what I have. Oh my God. With the AirPods now in hand, all Tessa had to do was convince Z to come into the house. What are you up to today? Nothing, really, I'm just chilling. Just chilling? I have plans with one of my friends later on tonight, so. With I a friend? Know. What friend? You don't know. Maybe I do. I mean, it's possible, but I doubt it. <laughs> Did he just say her? See, Paige, I, what I, first off, well, I just sit there and tell you, listen, women, if you're watching this video, you need to learn something. 
Stop dating guys that have lady friends, okay? Matter of fact, when you before you even start committing to a guy, you need to know all the friends that he has. And if they're ladies, you need to start asking questions. And if they didn't go to school together or grew up in the, in the neighborhood together, go the, extra, go the other way. There's no guy that should be having friends with a girl. Now, I could see if... I, well, no, I can't. I'm not going to even give you the benefit of the doubt of making excuses. Point is, if you want, if you want a successful relationship, guys are not going to be friends with girls. Okay, we just don't do that. Number one, me, even me, right now, I don't even have girlfriends. The only girl that I even consider a, a, somewhat of a friend because I don't really see her because <laughs> she's back at home, but she's married, and I work with her and her husband. So her husband knows who I am. But outside of that, I don't have no uh, friends as women. But listen, stop dating men that have women as friends. Period. No excuses. Period. I swear he just said her. Did he yep, just say her? He so did. I have plans with one of my friends, friends later on. Later on tonight. Tonight. So what friend? You'll know her. Okay, this was pretty crazy. Z said that he had plans with a her later on tonight. Now, he could just be referring to a friend, a family member, or something. But being that we're pulling a loyalty test and that later on would be like 11 p.m. Member. First off, we don't be giving that man the benefit of the doubt. There is no family member. There is no family member. You don't sit there and say, well, I have plans with one of my friends. That's my family member. <laughs> the hell? No. We had our doubts. It honestly really sounded like that, but to be honest, I couldn't really hear if he is hanging out with a her. Like, who's her? You think he's referring to you? No, he's not referring to you because he literally just told her you don't know her. Who is he referring to? Who is her? Well, come inside. Come hang with me. Come inside? Yeah, come have a drink with me. Have a drink? You can just have one drink. Come inside. Okay, what are we going to do? Tessa succeeds in convincing Z to step inside for a moment. In doing so, she is now one step closer to making her move. Welcome to my home. It's crazy. <laughs> Do you live here alone or you live with your family? I actually live with roommates, but none of them are home. I mean, Tessa managed to convince him to come inside. You don't know anything about like someone that he's hanging out with later on tonight? No. Could it be his mom? Could it be his sister, cousin, Brand. a good friend? See, no, he you didn't tell to make me anything. Do you want me to drink? What is that? It's a mixed drink, vodka, and OJ. Do you have anything else? Yeah, I have cranberry juice. Yeah, I'll take some. How strong do you want it? Not too strong. Not too strong. <laughs> so, like, one shot, okay? Yeah, one shot. Thanks. Listen, peeps, that outfit she got on is... Mm. God dang. I'm telling you, peeps, this is, this is what y'all need to inspire to be, women. Dress more like... I mean, you gotta have the crop top showing off your... But you can dress just, like, clothes like that. You guys, we do not Because even she got something similar, but it's blue jeans. Again, subconsciously, we're looking at blue jeans as one of the guys. I mean, come on. Drinking. And we even saw her the previous day, what she looked like. She was wearing jeans. She's like a jean fanatic. <laughs> driving do not drink and drive despite the fact that tessa was on her way to making her move nelia couldn't shake the her out of her mind i'm trying not to like jump the gun uh -huh. like maybe there's an explanation these but decors. i don't know who her is see this is why i would never fall for this shit because number one i have a girlfriend that doesn't even really dress i mean she dresses like anyways and then i meet some especially if i'm a guy now see he probably already has girls on his list and that he sees and stuff. Me, I don't have none of that. So I got a girlfriend and some strange girl that dresses super feminine and is feminine with me. So all of a sudden he know is you know want me to hang out with her and all that stuff. Mm -mm. I wouldn't. No, we ain't doing that. G. I already know. First off, I already know right then and there. Oh, I'm being watched. And see how I know it's because I'm gonna plant some shit when they, when we start talking. I'm gonna plant some seeds and be like, yeah, I kind of. No, this is a setup, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm I'm cool with it because, and I'm gonna explain why. Trust me. Do you want me to tell Tessa to try to get it out of him? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna text. And so with that, we coordinate a secondary plan. Cheers. On top of making her move, we now wanted Tessa to find out who this mystery girl that Z is planning on seeing tonight is. Sent it. I'm 
sure she'll read my text soon enough. If she doesn't read it soon, I'll like literally keep texting her and stuff. Okay. It actually took a while for Tessa to pick up her phone and read my messages. You see, on top of making her move, we wanted to know if Z would be willing to go back to the room with her to, you know, ah. do stuff. So Tessa was in full on character, breaking the ice and trying to make everything come off as natural and as realistic as possible. Do you want a refill? I'll leave you take another one though. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, and these. They're getting another one. Oh, damn, this is not good. Again. Yeah. I would be wondering, does a girlfriend drink? Because if you drink and the girlfriend doesn't drink. Oh, cheers. So, how is it this time? <laughs> Better than last time. <laughs> I just taste stronger. <laughs> you really want me to stay, huh? You yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get comfy, go back to the couch? After you. Okay. Tessa spends another 10 minutes doing her job, but she still doesn't see my text messages. So I decided to just blow up her phone. Did she respond? No, she hasn't responded. No, I'm pretty sure she's just gonna read my message, but I don't think she'll reply. I think she'll just like see it. A hundred text messages later, Tessa finally sees my messages and instructions. Let's see what she can get out of him. So, um, you said you're gonna hang out with a friend later on tonight? I was supposed to. You're just gonna ditch me? I mean, I... Yes, I have to. What's this hangout all about? Who's this person you're ditching me for? <laughs> I told you, it's just a friend. You said it was a her? Yeah, well, I... Who is this her? I promise you don't know. <laughs> yeah, but sounds more like friends with benefits to me. I mean, it's okay. You don't have to be shy. <laughs> what makes you say that? I just know. <clears throat> so, uh, what do you guys normally do when you're together? Um, adult stuff. Adult stuff? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't think you want me to tell you. <laughs> Beeps, I don't know why. This is ridiculous. First off, this is, this is something that women need to look at. Stop dating men who have lady friends. Because I know, I know she knows that he has lady friends. This is this is crazy. I don't even. Do you guys like hook up and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Are you jealous of her or what? No, I'm not jealous. You keep bringing her up though. I just don't want you to go. Why? I want you to stay. But I gotta go. Can I ask you an honest question? Yeah, what's up? How long have you been seeing her for? Uh, a couple of months. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, why? <laughs> I don't know if it's the alcohol talking, but you're super attractive. Thank you. You're fine too. <laughs> and stay. I don't think I can do that. I don't know if she's gonna get mad at me. Why are you so afraid of her getting upset? I'm not afraid. I mean, I, I just, I just have a good time with her, you know. Okay, and you don't think that I can do that? You know what? Here's the thing. He just not attracted to his current girlfriend, so he he has someone else on the side. He actually likes this other girl and wants to be really with her, but he doesn't know how to break it off with his current girlfriend. Because if he and this is kind of weird talking about this because he's not even like going for this lady here. He could actually have like be trying to get with her too and go and get. I don't know how to. I don't know what to say on this one, Peace. My only thing I can think of is, like I said, he is super attracted to whoever he's seeing. He's not attracted to his girlfriend at all. In fact, I would not be surprised if the girlfriend is actually really the side chick, and this girl that he's talking about, this friend of his, is actually his real girlfriend. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he was already seeing this other girl before meeting this other this his current girlfriend. Listen, I'm I don't think you can. Mm, you're wrong about that. I don't think you can. I definitely can. No. You you can? I'm pretty sure I can. Are you sure? Yes. Prove it. Really? Yeah. For a second, it seems like Z was about to turn down Tessa's offer, but he just asked her to prove it. Something she as a decoy would normally ask him. You a freak, huh? You freaky? Mm-hmm. No, you're not. 
<laughs> How would you yeah, know? Because I've been with multiple freaky girls. And, yeah, you gotta prove it to me though. So, what's up? <laughs> I can't even, I can't even listen to it. You know what? This is a situation where I would love to know what the, what does this guy do for a living? What does he do for a living? What is his goals and aspirations? And does he even want to be married? First off, some of you women are getting mad at men and saying that all, all men are cheaters and liars and this proves it. Some of these guys don't even want to get to the point of marriage and they never was think in the mindset of I want to get married. That's number one. Now, we're not going to talk about, I don't want to hear about, yeah, I know I, my boyfriend, my ex-husband, my he wanted to be married, but then he still cheated. You know, I don't want to hear that bullshittery, okay? But for her, you could tell that she wants a long-term, stable relationship. But again, you're trying to, you're dating a man. Again, I don't know. Maybe she did ask, hey, do you want to be married? Do you want kids? But, you know, y'all out here, y'all just be dating just to be dating. Just so y'all can post it on Instagram. It's arguable whether Z has failed or passed this test, but I think it's pretty safe to say that he's talking to another girl on the side. Like, he's more worried about getting her upset over Nalaya. Uh, There's yeah. still one last step to this test, though. Remember? And like I said, I don't even think she's a girlfriend. I think she's a side chick, and the other girl is actually the real girlfriend. But we have a diff different story, a different time. Remember, we got to see if Z's willing to go all the way with Tessa. Well, let's do it then. We'll do what? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You told me let's do it. So what are we doing? <laughs> no, you tell me. It's your house, not mine. I don't even know where the bathroom is. <laughs> where are you going? It's my room. For what? You gonna leave me out here? I mean, you said you wanted me to prove it, right? You, you want me? What do you want me to do? Sit here? Are you gonna join me? Yeah. No. <laughs> Listen. Oh, you sure? <laughs> Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Make yourself comfortable. I'm gonna okay. go make us some more drinks. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna make us more drinks. Right. I'll be right back. I'll be back. I should have listened. So in the end, Z decides to step into the room and have a good time with Tessa. Now, I really want to know your guys' thoughts. Do you guys think Z passed or failed this test? Well, Personally, for failed. me, I'm a little conflicted because I think it's bad that he went into the room, but I can also see how alcohol played a role into that. Not trying to give an ex- We all blaming it on the alcohol. Listen, alcohol makes, listen, all alcohol does. What did I tell y'all last time? Y'all want to really see the true nature of a person? Give them alcohol. Anytime I meet a girl before I date her, we getting drunk. Cause that drunkness, and then we're gonna get down into the nitty gritty, baby. Get to talking. Cause see that that the alcohol, it, it 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 transforms you to your true self. Not the restrained self, not the one that has walls up, but your true self. And that's the self that, that's what we wanna see. That's how you know if you're gonna be if you're gonna be together for a long time or not. But no, he failed that test. But let's continue. Excuse for him, I'm just thinking to myself, huh, I've done some pretty dumb stuff while drinking That's too. Not, dumb. not this dumb, but dumb. But then again, I look at it and I'm like, man only had two drinks and he's tall as hell. So if anything, he's only buzzing it. He's not even drunk yet. So exactly. did the alcohol cause this? I should have just listened to everybody when they told me about him, but instead I took his side. He's such a liar. So everybody was telling her that, hey, you don't need to date this guy because of this, 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 and this. Now, here's the thing. I I'm going to say this. I don't not, I do not think that you should be telling, I mean, I don't think, one, that you should be listening to people when it comes to your relationship. Now, with that being said, if you have multiple twos of people, we're talking about people that you hang out with. Even people that don't even really know you that well and they run into him and they're telling you that, yeah, I don't like him. He just seems like this. You need to take that into consideration when you have multiple people telling you. But having like one or two people. Do you want to walk in there and confront him and tell him everything Let's that's happening? That. Do you want to? I want him to know. You want him to know? Yeah. You want I want him to, him to know everything. everything, yeah. What if you went in there and you confronted him on your own first? Because he's expecting literally Tessa to come back right now. 
yeah. and walk in that room and please him. So like, what if instead of Tessa walking in there, you walk in there? No cameras, no nothing. You walk in there and you see what he says. Let's do it. You wanna do it? Let's do it. You feel safe going in there by yourself? I mean, we'll be here watching and stuff. If anything happens, we're running in there, you know? Yeah, I feel safe. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And so with that, Nalana decides to confront her boyfriend about everything. I hope you guys have your talkies for this one because you guys already know. If that's her, she got some baggy ass pants, peeps. This shit scum. This one, because you guys already know. This shit scum. Scum be good. Where'd you come from? Where did I come from? Yeah, Where did you come from? Why are you here? Why are you here? Stop! What, what are you doing? Stop! What do you mean? What Why do you are you from? here you in Tessa's here? bed? How can you be here? Can you just... You got some baggy ass pants. Listen, I'm telling you, it's the stop, stop dressing in jeans. Y'all won't get you on. I'm just saying. You saw what the decor is wearing. And before y'all come at me in the comments, I'm just telling you, I'm just showing you that your looks and your style is really your style. You can't, the physical appearance is fine, but your style, I'm just saying, like, that's going to be a decided factor of whether people are going to be attracted to you. It's just how it is in society. I'm telling you that if you, if that girl was wearing this shit, he probably wouldn't even been, he probably wouldn't even be there. You just tell me. I'm tired of you lying to me. Like, I know. I'm not lying. You haven't even let, let me speak yet. You're not You're saying anything. Right, You're not talk. saying Are you anything. Are you gonna let me talk? Let the man talk. Go ahead. Say what you gotta say. Tessa? Ooh, I, I just said one word. You up here talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, please. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just funny because women do that shit. You say one word and then they go one and off and they're just like, ah. it's like, let the, <laughs> let the man speak, man. Maybe he got a good explanation. Okay, he got a good explanation. I can't figure it out, but let's see what he got to say. Tia, <laughs> you always cutting me off. Let me speak. I haven't said anything. He, she, Why are you here? <laughs> She ain't, she, she really didn't say nothing. <laughs> Listen, both of them playing games. Let's just get to it, Pete. And Tessa's bet, just answer the question. Can you I can't speak? tell me anything. Can I speak? All you can say is, can I speak? And then when you do speak, you don't say any words. She is drunk right now. She's tipsy. She had a bunch of shots. And I dropped her off home. When I dropped her off home, I came here. She said, "Okay." She, get, she offered me a drink, okay? Mm -hmm. And I and I took it. So how did you end up in her bed? Because I'm too drunk to drive home. You're so full of shit. You're such a liar. You lie about everything. I've lost so many people because of you. Tessa. I've lost so many things. Oh, Tessa can. Tessa. You know no, what? Tessa, Tessa you know can what? hear you, right? I know Tessa. everything. Tessa. And what? Her jeans are baggy, peeps. Tessa, you know I can what? Hear you, right? Listen. I know Tessa. everything. Tessa. Her jeans are baggy, so I come. I, what are we doing? Like, why are you even wearing this? This is not. This is not attractive, peeps. I'm just. I'm just gonna call it for you. I know Tessa. everything. What's that, man? Oh my God, bro! I can't, bro. What is this? You know, you've been caught. Oh my God! I knew something so. Like this was Happen, bro. This entire thing was pretty much all a test, dude. So your girlfriend wanted to find out if you're truly loyal to her or not. So she wanted to set up a loyalty test. And she's a good looking girl. So I don't, outside of her outfit. <laughs> oh, listen, people, I can't, I just can't do it no more. Listen, y'all got, y'all women got to start coming correct. Y'all got to start coming correct. Cause y'all keep getting cheated on. She's not a bad looking girl. Like I would date, I'm telling you, send her my way. I, I listen, I could buy her a little dress. Trust me, I buy her a dress. She don't need no makeup. She can have her hair the way it is. She just needs, you know, like she's she's wearing pretty much the same type of outfit as the other decoy, but the decoy actually has certain fabric that just makes men just melt down like this guy just got melted down. 
That's all I'm saying, peeps. So we had Tessa basically ask you on a date, pretend to be into you, all yeah. that stuff. Are you serious? So this entire thing was basically a loyalty test. Oh, I didn't see none. Bitch, you. You yeah, asked her. I just. Sat I've down heard it come out I your mouth. Like, aren't you drunk? Aren't you drunk? What are you mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you smiling? Why are you laughing? Don't blame Tessa. Blame, blame yourself. Did you see this drink? Blame yourself. I was literally, I was literally drink. I literally drank like two of these. <laughs> Why are you still laughing, bro? No, I mean, I only had two drinks, but like, are you gonna drive? Because if not, we can call you an Uber home, dude. Because we're not gonna send, we're not gonna send you home drinking and driving. You know, like, I mean, you had two ride. drinks. No, you're not. You're not riding with me. No, you're not no, I mean, riding. You with me. Anything will call you an Uber home, dude. No, they will call you an Uber. No, I don't want you. Home. We're done. Let's let, let's call you an Uber home. Come here, come here. No, let's don't talk. touch me. Let's, come here, let's talk. I swear, don't touch me. Where are you going? Where is this? All I right. haven't even been in here. All right. Oh my God! What is this? All right, right bro. Damn, we got a whole setup. Come here, bro. Come on, oh, come on, come on. We, it's time for it's time for you to go, dude. Or it's time for you. We're gonna call you number home. All right. You're gonna regret this. Watch. I'm telling you. You gonna regret this. Uh, what's up? No. Oh, oh my God. No. 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 All right, dude. Hey, I can't tell how much of you is really drunk, dude. Or are you are you fucking around? Or are you really drunk? Don't touch me, bro. Are you really drunk? Yeah. Or are you fucking around? You only had two drinks. You literally only had two shots, dude. Hey, come on, girl. Faith, don't touch me. Chill, bro. Nanaya. All right, you're gonna get that. Nanaya. Relax. Stop, 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 stop. Let's go, let's go. Hey, stop. Stop. Nanaya. You want this to happen? You want you want us to do this, Nanaya? Come on. You sure you want to do this? Fatality. I don't know how it got to this point. Nobody was helping me. I was clearly yeah, struggling. Yeah. Ken just watching, cameras just filming, all while this man is throwing it back on me and taking advantage of me. Come on. I take both of you. I take both of you. You want the smoke? Sir, sir, you can You want it too? Honestly, like, look at that got it down. Listen, peeps. I, I women, I want you to see what how this guy is acting right now. Look at how he's acting. This is it, it, listen. I don't. This is why I say I don't really feel bad for y'all being cheated on. This is the type of guy that y'all like to date. Listen, if a girl breaks up with me, you know what I do? I don't even respond. <laughs> see if I had be gone, I I, I go about my damn business. I don't I don't care about being rejected. I just keep it moving. I am not the least bit disturbed. It, listen, if I got caught cheating or whatever, and he came up and was like, oh, yeah, you cheating? I'm like, okay, cool. I got caught. Peace. I'm out. <laughs> this is crazy. It looks dude. like Ken's the referee in this freaking fight, bro. He doesn't do jack shit. <laughs> He's just walking around and just like, all right, all right. Chill, chill, chill. That's all he does. <laughs> you want to go somewhere? Right, chill, chill, chill. chill. You good? We're going to let you up, okay? You chilling? I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Oh shit. Give me my keys. Give me my keys. Oh shit. I honestly couldn't tell if this man was really drunk, if he was acting, or if he got caught and he started acting dumb. I don't know what it was. It seemed like from one second to another, this guy's brain just kept switching. He switched from one girl to the next girl, then he went from calm to violent, and he went from violent back to calm. And then he just walked out. <laughs> I don't know if that was the alcohol or if that was just his brain. That's what I get, man. That's what I get for making sure that he doesn't go home drunk. Bro, what the fuck? Where, where the fuck were you? Is it over? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, shout out to um UDY and <laughs> Sergi Road Beats. Listen, I'm just telling y'all right now that you need to start looking at how men operate and how men act. Um, Y'all just need to start doing that piece because... The way that men operate and men, act, the way, what you just saw right there is what I consider feminine energy, right? This is what, so when I say that, you know, some of these guys out here acting feminine, that's what I mean. Like, you're in someone else's house, someone tells you to leave, just fucking leave. Listen, I've been told to leave someone's house. You know what I did? I left. Imagine that. Imagine me, someone telling me, hey, I need you to leave. I'm like, okay, cool. Peace. And then she actually got mad that I left. Actually, I've had that happen twice because I had one girl that I was dating when I was living in Hot Springs. 
and uh, I was in, we was in Little Rock, and she got mad at me for some reason. I don't even, you know, women be getting mad at just at your boy for just any old little thing. I guess she got mad at me because she said I was I didn't talk to her the previous night, but shit, my ass was tired. I was asleep. Matter of fact, when I went over to her house, I fell asleep. I shit you not, I fell asleep. It, it took me like 15 minutes. I fell asleep, and then I uh, woke up. I was up for like 30 minutes. Then she, we went into the be bedroom, lay down, and my ass fell asleep. I probably like 10, 15 minutes. I didn't wake up until um, we didn't wake up to about. Uh, about seven thirty, seven thirty or so, and then when I woke up, that's when she was t asking me about, well, why didn't you talk to me? And I told her, oh, I'm sorry. I, if you was talking to me, I'm sorry. I was asleep because I was telling her I was tired because I had to work. I was already working fifty hours, but then I had to work six hours Saturday, so it's fifty six hours a week that I'm working in manufacturing, lifting heavy parts throughout the whole day. But she got mad because I wouldn't talk to her. So I was hungry. I was getting my, and since she, and because, you know, women don't like to cook today, I got my um, clothes on. I was like, you know what? I got to go give me something to eat because I'm hungry. So I was going to go to McDonald's and get something to eat. Well, not McDonald's, uh, Burger King to get my, you know, my croissants. You know what I'm saying? Bacon and cheese croissants. Two of them. No egg. No egg. No egg. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I literally did that. And she was like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to go get something to eat. So, like, well, why are you going to leave? I'm like, because I'm hungry. And since you don't like to cook, I'm going to get something to eat. That's basically what I said. So I went to go get something to eat. I came back home. And as I was coming, pulling up in the driveway, she was sending my stuff right outside. So what did I do? I went up there, just got my stuff, and I took my ass back home. That's what I did. There was no fighting. There was no arguing. There was no, well, why are you? Nope. She just decided to break up with me. I actually, you know, what's funny is I actually went home and I actually posted on my Facebook. I was like, I guess I got broken up with because I didn't, because I didn't talk last night. <laughs> and she sent me like a 17 page essay. She did really break up with me because I, I didn't talk. Seriously, P, she broke up with me. And so, yeah, there were no, there were no arguments. There was no fighting, no, none of that bullshit. I just took my stuff and went home. And, uh, yeah. Now, I will tell you this. She's a single mom. Or at that time, she became a single mom. Found out a year later that she became a single mom. <laughs> she did all that. Just to become a single mom. Listen, I can't. But see, getting off topic, this is what y'all need to start looking at. Y'all need to look at how these guys move, how they react, how they act. When you're out in public, going out in public, look at what happens when something bad happens. How do they act towards the person that made the mistake? How do they move, right? Even if, even if the uh, customer service is egregious, how you actually conduct yourself, uh, conduct yourself is a testament of how they're going to really treat you. And, and I will tell you how they do it in public is going to be twice fold. So if they get mad and say, and start raising their voice and start saying, yeah, I hate this place and blah, blah, blah. Just remember that's going to be twofold. And so when you make that mistake, they're going to snap at you because guess what? You're closer to them. So I'm just giving you the game. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. As far as the girl, uh, like I said, both of them, they both look good. And, and the black girl look good. Nyla. Nyla. Look good. She just needed to, you know, wear a dress. Um, wear the outfit that the other lady had on. Because you both had on the same type of damn outfit. Just hers was a little bit more on the feminine fabric and y'all gotta look at how you uh how you dress and how you appear too because some of y'all y'all I, I don't think y'all understand that men are visual creatures if you want a boyfriend you're gonna have to change 
and change your appearance and make sure that you are looking good in the presence of your boyfriend. That way he's not going out cheating on you. Because <laughs> he's going to cheat on you twice with two different women. That's crazy. But anyways, peeps, shout out to uh, UDI, U UDY. Damn, that got, now this was posted five days ago. They got 1.3 million views. He got 6.6. 6.12 million subscribers. Yeah, shout out to him. I thought I would subscribe to him. But maybe I'm not. I'll go ahead and subscribe because I don't know if that'll work. Anyways, peeps, that's it for me. I am out of here. Let me know what y'all think since y'all, because y'all, I know y'all going to come in the comments and say something about, well, what? You always talk about how they dress and how you dress, da, 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 da. Yeah, well. Go ahead and post whatever comments you want. Cause I'll pin it. I'll pin it on there, um, because you know I'll have to make another video about why your appearance matters so much. Cause you know I gotta make common sense as videos today. And yes, I know personality matters. I don't know what the girl's personality is like. Um, I don't think her personality is anything. I think she's a sweet girl just based upon. Her demeanor, even how how she reacted, she wasn't calling him a bitch or she wasn't coming at him or you're a dumbass. She wasn't you know calling him names. She just wanted answers, and you could tell she was emotional. But I think she conducted herself really good, as far as someone who just got cheated on twice or was going to get cheated on twice. I don't say he got cheated on. She got che cheated on, even though they didn't really do anything. But he got she got cheated on twice. <laughs> But I would say for women out there, look at her, how she operated, because that's how you should operate. Yeah, it's not, you should find out why, you know, something like that is, is happening. But the cussing, the yelling, the, the throwing your hands at people and all this other crap, don't do that. How, what she did, she wanted to know, since, she, since he said it, she didn't believe it, she just went on about her business. She said, I'm done. I'm tired of lies. I did these things. I have even defended you. Hell, I can't even get women to do all that shit. Now, I don't know. Can she cook? If she can cook, hit her, tell her to get up over here. Shoot, I'll treat her good. <laughs> Anyways, and I'll I got dress, I'll got get make sure to go, go on Amazon and get some dresses. Anyways, I am out of here, peeps. Y'all take care. Peace, and I am gone.